Welcome to Seattle Public Utilities Ask Evelyn Live, where we answer your questions about recycling, compost, garbage, and other trashy topics. I'm your host, Becca Fong, and this week's episode, Frightening Fridge Finds, what to do with that stuff that is like way in the back of your refrigerator and realizing that your compost kitchen container is really your cleanup buddy. So this month, we are digging deep into the topic of compost so you guys can absorb all of the knowledge to compost. Pat is back in, back with us this week just in time because we would love him to weigh in on what to do with all that stuff in the back of the fridge. Hey, Pat. Hey, Becca. How's it going? It's going great. I have to say, I love your background. I'm working on it, making little improvements each week. I know, right? And I got to, you know, it's, it's nice to, to bring the recyclets back into the fold. So. Love it. Awesome. Well, yeah, thanks for thanks for tuning in. We missed you last week, but Kate Kurtz and I, you know, we're breaking down some more compost tips. Who's a pro? Great show. I learned a few things. Thank you very much. Yeah, absolutely. But we are so happy to have your expertise back because this is a topic that comes up all the time, and we get a ton of questions from you guys about this. And we're like, this is a perfect way to wrap up compost month. So it's about all of the stuff that is like way in the back of the fridge, and we hear a lot about the yuck factor, right? Yeah. The compost and kind of the different steps you got to take. So yeah, let's get into this week's question. Well, okay, question comes to us this week to the Ask Evelyn inbox. Uh, it says, hi Evelyn, I was cleaning out my fridge and I found containers of moldy old food and a bunch of sauce packets like ketchup and hot sauce. Should I just throw them all in the trash? Thanks, Gertie. Okay, Gertie. Um, the quick answer to that, Becca is, Oh yeah, so I mean, we've all been there, right? The quick answer is yes, you can, if it's really gross and you don't wanna go through the effort, you can put them in the trash. However, we are all about capturing as much of that food waste as possible. So if you can take a moment to clean out those containers and scoop that into, the, into your compost container as well as the sauce packets, you're doing great. But yeah. Pat, let's get into the details. There's right a on. little bit more and it sounds simple, but it's a little more complicated than that. Well, it's kind of like last time I was on the show, it's all relative, right? I mean, it's every yes. little bit helps. It all starts. Every, every ounce, every pound of material that goes to our compost, compost facility or to our recycling plant, it all started with a person had something in their hand and did they take time? Did they know? Did they have access to services? Did, did, was there opportunity for that material to be diverted from landfill? Totally. And so... It's all valuable. I mean, it's all important right. stuff. Uh, you know, rinsing out your recycling containers to make sure they're clean enough for recycling, but scooping out the materials that are beyond rinsing, right? Like, so yeah. it's okay if there's just a little in there, some residue, and you want to rinse it out. But if there's material you can you can scoop out and dump out into your compost collection, uh, especially if your compost is right there and handy, um, you know, that's that's what we would like to see y'all do. Um, I will actually leave an item in the fridge for a while until I know my compost collection bucket in the kitchen is nearly full. Ooh. Like if I know it's gonna be something I don't wanna smell for the whole day, right. I'll be like, okay, I'm gonna dump yeah. that item that we didn't right. end up eating, which is also a challenge, right? You know, you yeah. wanna eat all the food that's in the fridge ready for you. Oh. But if you don't, if you get to that point where it's like, oh, it's, it's churned, it's too far, yeah. it's gone, it's no longer appetizing. It may be edible, but it's not appetizing. <laughs> right. um, so, you know, timing your, your cleaning of the fridge uh, with the f how full your compost bucket is in your kitchen, that's one thing. But anyway, back to the packets. That's what you asked me. So I have a couple props here. Cool. We have ketchup and, and uh, mayonnaise and whatnot packets. Oh, yeah. These are these little foil and plastic line. Like, th there's probably actually four or five different layers of material that make this packet what it is. Right, they'll be shelf stable. Yeah, they, they, they oh, do a okay. container and then they wrap it with a shelf stable sealant and then they wrap it with another product that basically gives them the ability to print on it and then they do another wrapper to protect Actually. the printing. Like, right. so it's a lot of stuff in these little packets yeah. before you even get to the product on the inside. So, you know, yeah, I say these don't have on them usually. I don't think they have like best buy dates printed on of these. So, okay. you want to keep tabs, keep track of your packets a little right. bit. But, um, if you're gonna, you know, if you have these and you wanna be rid of them, it'd be great if you could tear them open and squirt them out. Obviously, like I said, every little ounce adds up. I mean, it's, I don't know what it is, Becca, how much, how much tonnage do we send to the compost facility every year? It's gotta be hundreds of tons a year. Oh yeah, 
we're, we're, I think the last numbers I remember, we were just shy of 200,000 tons a year. Yeah. So, it's, I mean, a lot of that's yard waste. Okay, so yard yes. waste makes up a huge portion of the green, yes. the green bin collection. But a lot of, a good percentage of that is food waste. So, Absolutely. you know, every little bit helps. Um, when you get into other packets, like I have a couple props here, you know, your, your sugar packets and oh, things, okay. salt and pepper packets. One thing is these are very shelf stable. Like you yes. can save these for, you for know, a long time. Them, yeah, you can save <laughs> for a long time. So when you, you know, you run out of the big bucket of salt, you might dig around and find a couple of those packets if you need some salt, that kind of thing. So it's all a resource, you know, as long as it's still right. good, uh, totally. keep it maybe, you know. Yeah, um, actually, we got a really good comment that says save the small packets for backpacking or camping trips. Well, totally. for sure. Yeah. Like, I, I've got a couple of those in my mess kit that I have in the car, like when we're traveling and stuff like that. Like, sometimes you'll need, like, soy sauce or salt or yeah. something like that. And I think one thing that you and I have talked about this, especially for the commercial program, is that, you know, uh, by request only, right? Or on request. Yeah. Right. So hopefully you don't stockpile a whole bunch of these that you have to get rid of. So, yeah, ideally, you know, there's a new state law. I know this is backwards for y'all, but this is a flyer we sent to all the businesses in Seattle that talk about the new state law that requires them to only offer you the packets and only provide them if you say right. yes. Totally. And maybe make them available to you so you can grab them from the lobby of the, of the food restaurant. The point is, is like, Days, the days of restaurant staff stuffing like, the bag full of like 25 it. ketchup yeah. packets when you don't even want ketchup, you know. I know. Uh, hopefully those days are past. Uh, it'll take a while for all the all the companies and all the staff members to learn what the new requirements are in the state, but that'll sh cut down on a lot of this unwanted, unnecessary packet proliferation, you know, situation. So we're really we're we're fortunate to have the state, you know, move that forward. SPU is a big part of that, you know, totally. legislative effort. And uh, we're happy to see that in place. Um, that should cut down on a lot of that. Some of yeah. them are like this, though. These are the oh, yeah. this is a ketchup packet. This is an on-site packaged food material. So this is supposed to be in a compostable container when it's packaged on-site in Seattle. That's not statewide. That's just Seattle. Right. So, you know, if you have one of these, like this one's one of those compostable versions, you could just put this whole thing in the compost bin if you didn't totally. want, you know, if you were through with it. And that kind of brings me to the point of like a lot of folks write into us about like those little condiment packets, like the foil yeah. ones that you showed with the mayo and the ketchup. Right. Like those are straight up plastic, right? Like four kinds of plastic that, that right. you just talked about. If you do not want to empty those, please throw them in the trash because we are working really hard to not have tiny bits of plastic in our compost, which is why we want to say it's okay to throw things away if you're not going to go through that extra step. While we want you to capture all of that good food and food right. waste, if you're not going to go through those steps, it's better to put it in the garbage than to contaminate the co the compost with plastics. Yeah, so, absolutely. That's so a, that's, that's a really good point. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we talk about, you know, there's valuable resources in this packet. It's food waste that yeah. shouldn't go to landfill. It's going to be really stable in the landfill. When we talk about materials going to landfill, like food waste, and that contributing to the greenhouse gas effects of all the methane gas that kind of rises up out of the right. landfill, it's that's... We're talking about unstable food waste when we talk right. about that. It's, it's all the uneaten food. It's a leftover. It's, it's, it's all that material. Yard waste does break down at a slower rate. Sure. Um, even though our landfill service provider, which is Waste Management, WM, down in Oregon, which is where all of our garbage goes, um, they have a methane capture system. So when, right. once they fill a cell, an area that they're filling with garbage, once they fill that and cap it, they plumb it and do engineering necessary to capture and collect all that methane gas that occurs normally. I don't say naturally, I just say it occurs in a landfill. It's a normal procedure of landfills or operation. So capturing that methane is great. Like that's a resource. Other yeah. landfills will just burn it off. They just have flames right. on a pole on a tube sticking up out of the landfill and it just gets burned off. So it's great to capture that fuel, that totally. resource and reuse that. But we don't want to put food in the landfill just to try and capture that. That's, a, that's like, I've heard it said, that's like putting a windmill on the top of your car and then driving down the freeway <laughs> to, you know, try and capture the little bit of energy you can from that. So right. it's it's definitely a, you know, one step up, five steps back if you do that. Don't, right. Don't do that. Don't be that guy. Totally. Definitely. So I guess a really quick recap. Thank you, Gertie, for your question, because we hear this from a lot of folks is that for your sauce packets, empty those out and squeeze those out. If not, it's okay to throw those away because we don't want the extra plastic 
in our compost stream. And then for the moldy food, like I bring it up a lot. Sometimes there's like a quarter of a burrito that got shoved way to the back. You want to open that container, take Pat's advice, wait till the end of the day when you're right about to take it out to your cart or you're taking it down to your trash room in your building, scrape that out, put it in there, rinse your container, and then take it on out because we really do want to capture all those really great nutrients. Those of you who made it out to our compost giveaway events these last two weekends, that's where all that material goes. Right. It's turned into that amazing compost that Lens Enterprises brought back to those events and you guys got back. So thank you for all of you who compost and thank you for all of you who stopped by our events. That was Good awesome. Job. Way to close yeah. the loop, people. I know, right? We keep it closed. That's the important part. So, all right, folks. Well, thank you so much. And quick reminder that this show is run on your questions. So make sure that you keep them coming. Send them to us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or you can send us an email at askevelyn at seattle.gov because we always love hearing from you. So, all right, folks. Thank you so much. It's been a fun compost month. And we'll be back at you next week as we kick off the month of June with a special guest. So, all right, folks, with that, I'm Becca Fong, and life's better with less stuff. And I'm Pat Kaufman. Remember to recycle right. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.